Okay, first grade. Time to get the spooky Halloween pictures painted. Now, if you watch my uh, intro video, remember, if you need more time to work on this, go for it. Uh, if you don't need to uh, finish watching after I give you my quick little intro right now, and you want to just go and paint, perfect. Go and paint. A lot of the times, I'm just trying to show you how to do things, but you guys really know what you're doing. You painted a bunch last year in kindergarten. So here we go. For starters, I have gone through and I've added a little bit of water, just a little drop of water, okay, to each of my colors. We're not going to use a whole lot of colors for this. Okay, last week we came through and we made and traced everything. Okay, friendly reminder, when we hold our paintbrushes, we hold them on the metal part like they're a pencil. Okay, we need to remember the process of our watercolor paint. It goes water, paint, paper each time. Okay, we're going to start with our light colors first. So we're going to go to this moon, and we're going to paint in this moon first, and then we're going to paint everything else. Our spider or our branches are going to be last. Those can be black or brown. Black can be very, very dark. You have to be careful with it. Same with our brown. Okay? So at this point, if you want to pause the video and start, and start painting on your own, go for it. If you want to uh, watch and pause and watch and pause how I do it, go for it, okay? Before you are done, check in at the very end, okay, and see how we did it, okay? Remember, I talked about alternating colors in here, so we're going to alternate colors in our spider web and our moon, okay, just to make it look like a little stained glass. This is how we're going to do it. I'm going to start with my lightest color first because that's how we always worked last year, and that's yellow. So I'm holding my paintbrush. It's a pencil. I'm going to have yellow there. I'll have some yellow here. Like I said, we're going to alternate water, paint, paper. Now I'm done with my yellow, so I can wash my paintbrush off. I'm going to switch to the orange. Orange. Oops. Orange. Add a little bit more water and paint. Remember, I'm just like dipping it in. I'm not scooping. I'm not swirling. We don't need to do that. We could always go back and add more. Yeah, I could even borrow some from here just by rolling it and adding it in here. Okay. So that's the general idea what I mean about switching our colors up. Okay. So I'm going to use blue and purple for our sky. And I'm going to kind of alternate the same thing throughout the rest of our spider web and our background. So if you want to hit pause right now, hit pause. You can get started. And uh, if you want to uh, unpause me and see how I'm going, go for it. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to be taking my time painting our sky. So I'm going to start up here, kind of far away. At least I know that I'm not painting towards like towards me. And then I'm kind of, I have my hand in the paint. Remember, we have our mats underneath us, so I could kind of paint off my mat. I'm not too worried about it. It's there to get dirty. Okay, now we're going to alternate to our purple. So I have some purple. This is very, very dark. It's very soft. Sometimes our blues and our purples get very, very soft. Okay, because I don't want it to be that dark, I'm going to try and spread it out. So I'm alternating this way. Blue, purple, blue, purple. If you don't want to alternate, you don't have to. Okay, so then this would be blue, that would be purple. Kind of going opposites, trying to create a pattern. Purple, blue, purple. Now it's all those purples are starting to lightening up, lighten up a little bit, which is good. I think I'm going to switch back to my blues and kind of fill in some areas. Wash that paintbrush off. The water's getting a little bit darker. I have this nice big area be blue. If you're just checking in back in with me, this is how I'm alternating my picture. 
blues and purples for our nighttime sky. Okay. Remember, friendly, rem friendly reminder, if you need to turn your paper as you paint, you can turn your paper as you paint. This area right here is going to be probably the last one that I paint because it's like closest to me. I'm kind of reaching up and over it. I don't want it to get dirty. Okay, I'm going to go back to, I forgot my process. I'm going to go back to some purple. Purple. And some of these like super dark purple spots, if you're just coming back in, they're going to lighten up naturally. The water, the paper will absorb it. Um, fun little trick. You could take some paint by rolling the paint brush in there like that. And then coming over there. Okay, it spreads pretty good. You should remember this from last year. Remember, if you do not need to watch this part, just hit pause, work on your own. Sometimes this blue paint, and I just felt it, so I got to wash it off, it gets very sticky. It becomes very gummy, and that was almost pure paint that I pulled out by accident. I don't want that to happen to my pictures because it, it will be very, very tacky, very, very sticky. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to roll some of that paint off that area and pull it out so, so we can kind of get rid of that. Okay, that spider web looks pretty cool. If you're just checking in, now what I've done is I've kind of alternated my colors throughout. Okay, kind of happy with how that looks. That looks kind of neat. Uh, so we had this big mistake over here, not mistake, just drip, sorry. We had this big drip over here, that was purple. So all I'm doing, all I just did was I took that mistake, that little drip, and I added a ton of water on it, okay? And now I'm just spreading it out. So maybe we just make the rest of this side purple. Uh, gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this spider. Maybe I'll go brown with my spider. If you're just checking in, we're just trying to finish up this one last little side over here. You go back to that blue. I gotta be very careful with my blue because it's super sticky. Yeah, see how dark that came out. So I have a blue top, blue top, blue bottom, purple on one side. I'm going to make purple on the other side, kind of balance it out. But we got to be really careful of this ghost that we made. We don't want this ghost to be purple. We want this ghost to stick out and be stay white. So I'm going to try and go around it as best as I can. I'm going to do this part in here. Okay, cool. All good. Nice. Look how this is turning out. Last part, if you're just checking in, we're almost done with this picture. Okay, I've painted the moon first because that was, those were our lighter colors. And I started to alternate in our sky and that spider web and on the background. Uh, and now I'm moving towards the branches which are going to be arguably our darkest color depending on what how we finish this spider to almost all of it with one little dot of brown paint 
Oh, a little dot of brown paint. And you know what? I'm going to try. You're, I'm going to try and use black. So I'm going to have just a tiny little bit, tiny little bit. It's going to, going to be very dark. Should lighten up. There you have it. Got a spooky spider web. Okay. If you're just checking in, here is what mine turned out looking like. Can't wait to see how yours turned out looking like. If you watch the whole thing with me, that's awesome. You don't have to. Um, that looks great. Hope you uh, hope to see yours soon. Have fun.